Right now, the spread of COVID-19 in Alabama is on the lower end compared to other U.S. states. Alabama is averaging about 6.8 cases per 1,000 people. That's according to data from the Mayo Clinic. It's also the third lowest average daily case rate out of all U.S. states. But this comes after the ADPH says more than 16,000 Alabamians lost their lives to the virus. God is as real as this virus is. County woman published a new book sharing her COVID survival story in hopes that people take the virus seriously. Wait, the one's Alex Perez Perez joins us live now with a look at her story. Alex. Well, for Lynn Owens, fighting COVID was both a nightmare and a miracle. And that's why she published this book in order to give people a firsthand look at her fight against COVID. I had been praying that God would let me die. I came off the ventilator and I would ask the nurses to please just let me die. Lynn Owens had accepted her fate after she was hospitalized with COVID-19 in January. If I lived, it was going to be a miracle from God. And if I died, then I was going to be with him. She spent 147 days in the hospital, 47 of which were on a ventilator. I was dying. I was suffocating. While on a ventilator, Lynn experienced nightmare after nightmare. Just people thought I was dead, and I kept trying to explain to them that I'm not, but they couldn't hear me. But then she says she saw a bright purple light. I believe that that light was sent there by God letting me know that he was with me that he hadn't left me and he was going to be with me through that ordeal. Little by little, she got better and started taking her first steps towards recovery. I feel so unworthy of this miracle because there's got to be people that have passed away from this that could do so much more than I can. Though she's still relearning how to do some things that most people take for granted, Lynn was able to accomplish something most of us haven't done, publish a book. I, I want them to know that God still does miracles because look at me. I wasn't supposed to be here today, but they didn't take into account what my God can do. And Herb's her story inspires others to take the virus seriously. I just pray that everybody realizes that this virus is so simple, so easy to get. And you can protect yourself. And I just pray that people do because this is not something you want to go through. Now, this book is also part coloring book, and they're actually drawings that Lynn actually did herself. Of course, right now she cannot draw, but she told me she hopes to be able to relearn how to do that in the future. Reporting live in DeKalb County, Alex Torres Perez, Way 31 News. Sure, she'll get there. Alex, thank you. Lynn will have a book signing event this Saturday at the Blake Community Center. It'll be from 11 to 2, and you can buy a copy of the book from Amazon and Barnes & Noble.